Hello, I am starting this week's vlog on a gloomy Thursday. I am currently meeting my friend Chris and we are going to try and shoot some looks for her boutique. Um, her boutique is Shop Trevu, by the way. I'm gonna link it right here for you guys. It's one of my favorite boutiques, not biased. Kinda, sorta, not really. And I'm excited, I'm excited to see her. I'm excited to spend some time together and shoot some amazing content, so. Hmm. Okay. okay, we found a spot. We are about to try and get some shots. Whoa, there we go, now we're straight. Nope, we're a little crooked still. It's all right, hi. It didn't occur to me that it was on, so I'm like just like, <laughs> and I was like, oh, wait. I we found smile. a spot to shoot, so I'm hoping my camera doesn't fall. Here we go. We're good people. <laughs> Mustache looks so thick. Look like a little Frenchman. Look at oui, oui. My like name's Pierre. I'm just not used to seeing my hair pulled back. And where are we going, baby? We're going to the Frankenson's Collectible Show, <laughs> City of Industry. <laughs> Brian has had um, <laughs> these awesome Pokemon cards that are in <laughs> mint condition. True. And sometime last week, we realized that he's sitting on a gold mine. Pokemon cards from the 1999 base set for anybody who knows anything out there. Also have some great autographed NFL cards, some old baseball cards, so hoping to talk to some people. Not yeah. sure I'll make any sales today. Yeah, but we kind of want to get a better idea of how much his cards are worth and stuff, so <laughs> yeah, it should be a fun experience. I have zero knowledge on what we're doing and I don't know what to expect, but it should be a fun day because, you know, we just have fun everywhere we go. And the best part is, is they have other items too. Collectibles yeah. for movies, shows. If they have anything comic Disney. Books, the Disney possibly. So. Be broke, so. We'll see. We'll see. Stay tuned. Ah, uh, so we just got here and y'all are gonna die at this line. It goes around <laughs> the building it looked like, so we'll yeah, see. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> Let's see. This is crazy. Holy moly. There's a lot of probably get to back here though eventually. Well, it goes till nighttime. How are you feeling, babe? Are you excited? I'm excited. <laughs> I'm ready to go. Yeah. You guys just can't tell. No. I'm smiling. <laughs> the line is pretty long. It's getting crazy around here. Lots of collectors. Uh, 400. I am here for the Disney Vintage, oh my gosh, Jack Skeleton. My favorite. And Groot! I am Groot. Super cool. Pinocchio. So much. <gasps> OMG. Screaming. Oh man. Look at all of those. 
Like all the kids. Wow. I'm gonna end up going broke if I see any more cool Disney stuff. <laughs> the Charizard, the first edition one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> see these with the packs? I have that one, but I don't have that shiny. This is cool. Oh my gosh, 007 GoldenEye, I have that one. And this one, that's 80 bucks right there. I love this guy, he's playing Disney songs. Alright, so we just got out and it was good, it was fun. Brian sold one card <laughs> and I walked out of there with the record, three pins. I think that's I'm just it. gauging some opinions, you know, talking to some people, talking about prices. <laughs> told them I wasn't quite ready yet, but when the time comes, I'll be ready. Yeah, we're gonna come back and try and sell those Pokemon cards, but it's a cool little experience. here at Long Beach Antique Market. <laughs> Long Beach Antique Flea Market. From our observations, the furniture here is fantastic. I don't even know if you guys can hear me with my mask, but you know, COVID. But yeah. <laughs> but yeah, the furniture is amazing. If you are looking for any home stuff, this is the place to be. We're kind of staying away from clothes because we have we both have so many clothes, <laughs> but yeah, it's a little crowded, but everyone has their masks on. No one's like bumping into each other, so it's a good time so far. I smiled, but you guys can't see me smile. She looks so young there. Is that Olivia Newton? Yeah. Hmm. Never find any in love. That's what we need to do next time is bring a boom box. Just put in your car. <laughs> Check out this bus. <laughs> Watch my stuff. Oh, this is it. Oh, here's where it's still bus. Still shot. We're not expecting this. No. And these are so cute. Yeah. These are amazing though. Yes. They totally work. Wow. They're beautiful. I love this little pink one. It's any other color though. It's like a turquoise. So neat. Right? Well now I know where to come when I need a stove. Yes. They're beautiful. <laughs> I was not expecting Beautiful. a stove shop in a bus, but <laughs> they're really cute. This is the first time for everything. Yeah. <laughs> <Woo -hoo>. <laughs> <laughs> Give me this yellow set for my kitchen. <laughs> we are back in Long Beach. We are getting some fuel after the flea market. About to dive in. Mm. How do you feel now that we I'm so full. devoured our food? I'm ready for a nap. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I just got home. I am so tired. My plan is to take like a 30 
to an hour nap max. Um, overall, I really like the flea market. If you are looking for home stuff and furniture, that is a place to go because they had so many cute pieces. I just didn't need any of that. I was looking for more home decor. So Kat and I were thinking of going again next month. Um, so I will bring you guys along then and hopefully I can have a little bit more good luck. I'm gonna show you really quick what I wore to to the flea market so I wore a hat because I left at four in the morning and I did not want to do my hair or my makeup um, I wore this set from wear lively it's a really pretty sage green oh my gosh can you see my tummy <gasps> just me okay anyways this set is so so comfortable I have to give wear lively a shout out for this it's so comfortable really pretty green. I wore some socks because it was cold, some white socks, my docks, um, and then I just threw over my trench. So it was a really good thrifting outfit overall. <sighs> I feel like I can't even talk right now because I'm so tired. So I'm definitely going to take a nap and I will see you guys soon. <laughs> Hi guys, today I am going to be doing a try on haul with some amazing Zoffel pieces that I received. Uh, Zoffel is a new brand that I am working with. I worked with them over the summer and I picked out some pieces and they had some really great stuff for really great prices. So I wanted to work with them this season and I picked up some great pieces like shackets and chunky sweaters and all that good stuff. So I'm going to be doing a little try on haul for you. Let's do it. All right, so the first piece I'm gonna be showing you is this color block shacket. The colors are tan, cream, and like a maroon. I got this in a size medium. I wanted it to be a little bit oversized, um, and it truly is oversized. <laughs> I wore this in yesterday's post, which I will show you right here on the side, but um, it's really, really nice. I like the material, it's like a corduroy. The but button detailing is really pretty too, and it's just super easy to kind of throw on and Go about your day. Up next, I want to show you guys these green jogger pants that I'm currently wearing. I love these because I can wear these exactly how I'm wearing it right now to go to the store, or I can wear them at home and just lounge around, which is actually what I've been doing with them. I got these in a size large, and I could have done a medium, but honestly, the waistband is perfect. It like doesn't snuff, like hit my tummy. Um, so your girl can eat, and she ain't like, you know, you know I hate when waistbands just jab at your tummy. That's just like my biggest pet peeve. So anyways, I got a size large and these fit perfectly. They have great pockets. They have a cute little bow here. There's nothing else to say except they're super, super cute. Um, they are like a mint color and I love them. Now this frayed, distressed, cropped denim jacket is made out of my dreams. It's so vintage looking. I kind of want to take it off just to appreciate the detailing on this jacket. And again, like I can't believe the price. I believe this jacket was $35. Um, and when you look at it, like the detailing here, so it has like a no name tag here, but it, it gives me like Levi vibes. And then the detailing here, can you see that? Yeah. So it's like distressed. And then the back is like this. It even looks good, but yeah. yeah. It's just cropped. It's super cute, super comfortable. I love that the sleeves are kind of long. Kind of gives you like a bubble bubble effect but i really really like this jacket it, it's definitely going to be in my closet probably forever like i don't think i could ever get rid of this jacket so and these are going to be a plaid high-waisted trouser pant these are only 20 bucks and i can't really believe them they are so cute you can wear these for work i think you can wear these the way i have them which is with docks and a cute little ribs top they're so versatile, soft material. I got these in a size medium and it has a little bit of room, but that's just how I like my pants because they're still like form fitting on the booty, which is nice. It's like a navy and white color and super, super cute. My flannel collection is growing this season. This is another flannel I got. This one is going to be definitely flannel material. This is not shacket. It's super thin, but I really like it because I feel like I won't be hot in this. Um, the colors are like tones of brown, really pretty. Pick this up in a size medium, but it's actually not oversized. It fits me just right. So I'm glad that I got a medium. Um, I would just wear this open as it is, or I could throw it on over a black dress. The colors are really pretty for fall. 
really cute another great price and just another goodie this little white pleated skirt is next and I paired it with this little blue knit it's a drop shoulder so it does fit really nicely just kind of drapes on your shoulders this one comes in four different colors the price on this one was I think 25 bucks and the blue was really really pretty this little white mini skirt has some shorts underneath which is nice to have the little skirt I got in a size small and it still has some room but it does fit really nicely it has a side zipper I I feel like both of these pieces can be transitioned into our summer wardrobe, which is something that I really like. It's like the color. I can totally wear this in the summertime with like some jeans and a crop top and then the white pleated skirt. I know these are not going away. These were so trendy this year, but I have a strong feeling that they're going to be moving into 2021. So both pieces are the good bye surprise surprise another plaid skirt <laughs> i cannot get enough of these little skirts um it's really funny because i actually went to a catholic school so these just bring back all of the memories except in my catholic school we had to wear our skirts that were under the knees so now i get to be a cute little school girl uh but anyways this skirt you guys is ten dollars that's right you did not hear me wrong ten dollars for this skirt it's super cute this one does not have shorts underneath unlike the white one that i have this one i picked up in a size medium i should have gotten a size small it is a little bit big on me but it still fits nicely it has a side zipper and the colors are a brown and like yellow really pretty for fall i could totally wear this how i have it now or like with a little brown chunky knit that would be really cute too one of my favorite pieces is going to be this olive green rimmed dress. This is one of the pieces where I am just so impressed with the quality. It does have buttons all of the way down to the dress. Um, it's long sleeve. It has really pretty collar detailing. So comfortable. I picked this up in a size medium. It's not too mini, but it does hit about mid thigh. Um, and then I paired it with this brown croc purse that I also got and I think they just both give me all of the fall vibes. This dress is just a must. You babes went crazy for this jacket that I am about to show you. It is uh, purple and like a mustard color um, and it is so comfortable. I got this in a size medium and it just makes me so happy. Uh, this is probably one of the thicker jackets that I am showing you. The material just feels more like a jacket. The inside is a little bit rough, but the outside material is so soft and I love the button detailing. I love this big pocket here. I think that's so cute and it's so cute. Like I could keep this forever. I could totally live in it, sleep in it, do everything. <laughs> P.S. My hair keeps changing because I'm multitasking and I'm filming a reel as well. So that is why I am having like 10 different hairstyles. Anyways, so this is another shacket that I received. This one is definitely going to be right in that sweet spot where it's a little bit thicker than a shirt, but thinner than a jacket. It's so cute. This is probably, I've probably said they're all my favorites because they're all my favorite right now. Um, but I got this one in a size medium and this one is really oversized, but again, not mad at it at all. I love it. It's hues of blue. I also posted this one on my Instagram, so I'll post a photo of it. Cute. This one gives me definitely more of like a boyish vibe, but I don't get mad at the tomboy vibes because I think deep down inside I'm, I am tomboy, so. Um. So I originally wanted this LA California sweater to be kind of oversized, so I got a size large, and I kind of messed up because it is just ginormous on me. I could probably only wear this as like a pajama unless I cropped it. Let me show it to you cropped really quick. Okay, so this is it cropped and with it cropped, I could definitely work with it, but the material is definitely not a sweater material. It's more of like a, a thick t-shirt, um, but it's super cute. The style is like a sweater, so it's a little bit confusing on that end, but um, the price is really great as well. So. Just an FYI though, this is going to be more of like a sweater, not really a sweatshirt. So, but I think it's super cute. I love the LA cause you know, got a red. We always love a little black dress and this one that I added to my collection is so good. So it's also ribbed material. It has thumb holes, which is something that I really like. Kind of awkward, but I just think it's such a look. <laughs> I also paired it with the little bubble jacket that I showed you earlier. 
It has a zipper right here that you can go all the way to the top for like more of a serious look. And then you can also zip it down. It is about mid thigh, so it's definitely kind of a mini. It is long sleeve though, so I think it's such a great balance. And then when I threw it over with this jacket on Instagram, you babes absolutely loved it, so. All right, babes, so that is it for today's Zoffel try-on haul. I hope you guys liked this little segment that I added into today's vlog. If so, let me know in the comments below. I will be linking all of the items that I wore and tried on for you as well as my discount code. And I'll also link Zoffel's website because they do always have great sales on their website. So I'll include that for you. And let me know if you have any questions. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed.